Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Rufus and Doofus. Chico and Rufus here this morning. It's Wednesday, June 3rd, and it's just a little bit after sunrise. And we're up early to get our walk in because today we're going to get our new tires on the RV. Yep, Guz is going to get new shoes. And uh, I decided to go with Firestones after a lot of research. For the price, they give a lot of value. Uh, it's been a company that's been around a long time. Um, they've had their troubles in the past, some, some things that gave them a bit of a bad reputation, but that was many years ago, and today they have a good product, which they stand behind. They have a very good road warranty, so that's the decision I made based on price and quality. A lot of you may feel different about that. I, I'm sure that you have, uh, you know, preferences such as Michelin's and Goodyear's and things of that nature. Uh, there's a lot of off brands out there made in God knows where but I decided to go with Firestone So that's that and uh, as soon as I get Rufus back home I'm heading to the shop and we're gonna have the tires installed um, Another thing I just wanted to mention is I'm sorry about the comments. I'm trying I've just been uh, really busy between the insurance and uh, the issue that happened with that tree trying to get the liability on Vero Beach at least to fix that tree so it doesn't happen to anybody else either you know put a bigger sign up put a different sign up tell trucks not to go there cut down the tree whatever it takes but just not right that that thing is hanging out there and it's going to eat somebody else's RV probably worse than mine so uh, it's been a busy week a um, lot of comments and I, I appreciate them very much so many great suggestions and stuff um, but also uh, a lot of negativity about the RV uh, as far as you know it's it, it's been a, a handful with these problems but just to clarify something the problem that's caused almost all the other problems to happen is this engine problem that I've had and uh, unfortunately I went to one mechanic and he was not able to diagnose it he got fixated on the fuel pump and he was just all over everything that had to do with fuel pumps and fuel delivery and in the end we did not get it fixed and now I was fortunate enough to meet Jeff and Justin and they seem to believe rightfully so I might add that the problem is in the exhaust and uh, the last time we went out for a test drive we were cursed with a blowout which you all know how that worked out you know sitting there for seven hours waiting for service to show up so, um, decision has been made. Let's get some tires on this puppy, new tires that we can trust, and then we'll go on our test drive and work on the original problem that was always there. So, in essence, what, what's happened? We've had the engine problem, which has taken a long time. Sometimes a vehicle sat for two weeks with nothing happening to it, and that's the biggie. And then we had a rear seal go, which, you know, after 60-some uh, thousand miles and the fact that it sat, it's an old vehicle, older vehicle, that was an easily diagnosed problem, and it was taken care of. Jeff was kind enough to do that. So, you know, that's problem number two, and to be expected. So now we're up to two. The awning, that was my problem. The tree jumped out in front of me, so can't really count that, except for the fact that I probably wouldn't have been on that road had it been not for the engine being a problem, which there was no reason for me to go down that road. So that's kind of associated. And now I have a problem with the generator. Uh, the starter was in fact bad. I'll have a video up on that, what we're doing to fix that and what was done. So, uh, you know, really, really not too bad. All the other modifications that I've done, the converter was good when I took it out. It was just old and it was not one that I wanted. It was not smart. So, you know, yeah, I put some money into that. Um, removing the television. Hey, that was an old thing from 1998. I mean, you know, big old cathode ray tube, um, very inefficient and terrible, and a small screen. Who wanted it? Ripped it out. Haven't replaced it yet. Uh, windshield wipers. I started off replacing the windshield wipers. Was a little rusty on the pantograph. Went to take the um, arm and adjust it and remove it so that I could get the windshield wipers on. And I broke the pantograph. So all these problems that are happening, you know, the tires I knew about. I mean, that's why we're getting them changed. I just didn't really have the finances to take care of it right away. Uh, and again, um, it sat at Ulf's so long, and he kind of got really into my pockets with that fuel pump situation. I was very disappointed. 
Uh, I think that, you know, he may, I think he should have stepped up to the plate a little bit and said, look, I wasn't able to fix it, and I really am, am not justified in charging you to do the fuel pump twice, things like that. But hey, life is what it is, live and learn, um, so we move forward. But the big news today is tires are going on the RV, brand new tires. He's, Gus is going to have brand new shoes, and we should be good for a long time. We should be able to complete our test drive and find out exactly what's going on with the engine. Uh, I am very, very confident that Jeff and Justin are going to be able to find this problem. And uh, I have to admit, I'm very, very happy that I met these two people. Um, they, they're they becoming friends. I mean, they're, they're really, really nice folks. They're excellent. And they seem to be very concerned with, with what's going on with the RV and such. So I trust them very much. And again, I, I just can't uh, believe that I was fortunate enough to meet these two guys. So that's where I'm at today. Uh, I'll see you in a little bit when we actually get the tires put on Guz. So until then.